PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top 25 most valuable, most collectible, highest selling baseball rookie cards from the 1950s. All right. These are the top 25 cards that collectors and investors are investing in today that you should consider investing in if you want to start investing in baseball cards from the 50s. We're going to have 25 different rookie cards, no duplicate players. All right. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this list. All right. Starting off the list at number 25 is a 1957 Topps Jim Bunning rookie card number 338 graded PSA 9 mint condition population of 23 with none graded higher sold at auction in July of 2019 for $2,168. Number 24 is a 1958 Topps Orlando Cepeda rookie card number 343 graded PSA 9 mint condition population of 23 sold at auction in August of 2019 for $3,360. Number 23 is a 1957 Topps Bobby Richardson Rookie Card, number 286, graded PSA 9, mint condition, population of just 9 with none graded higher, sold at auction in May of 2018 for $4,140. Number 22 is a 1953 Topps Jim Gilliam Rookie Card, number 258, graded PSA 9, mint condition, population of just three with none graded higher, sold at auction in October of 2017 for $5,144. Number 21 is a 1958 Topps Roger Maris Rookie Card, number 47, graded PSA 9, mint condition, population of 35, with none graded higher, sold at auction in July of 2019 for $8,409. Number 20 is a 1957 Topps Rocco Calavito Rookie Card, number 212, Graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, population of just three, sold at auction in December of 2019 for $9,600. Number 19 is a 1951 Bowman Nelson Fox rookie card, number 232, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, Population of just one, sold at auction in May of 2012 for $13,344. Number 18 is a 1951 Bowman Whitey Ford rookie card, number one, graded PSA 8, near mint to mint condition, population of 46, with only three graded higher and no tens. Sold at auction in November of 2019 for $13,668. So no PSA 10 so far, just uh, three mint nines and none have sold. So we get to go off the PSA 8 um, auction. Number 17 is a 1957 Topps Bill Mazarowski rookie card. Number 24, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, Population of just three sold at auction in October of 2017 for $17,118. Number 16 is a 1957 Topps Don Drysdale rookie card, number 18, graded PSA 9, mint condition, population of 17, with none graded higher, sold at auction in August of 2019. For seventeen thousand four hundred dollars. Number 
number 15 is a 1957 Topps Frank Robinson rookie card, number 35, graded PSA 9, mint condition, population of 26 with none graded higher, sold at auction in July of 2019 for $21,860. Cincinnati Red Legs. Number 14 is a 1952 Topps Hoyt Wilhelm rookie card, number 392, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, population of just one, sold at auction in May of 2012 for $23,351. Number 15 is a 1952 Topps Ed Matthews rookie card, number 407, graded PSA 8, near mint to mint condition, population of 14, with two graded higher and no PSA 10s yet, sold at auction in April of 2018 for $43,200. It's a PSA 8. Number 12 is a 1957 Topps Brooks Robinson rookie card, number 328, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, population of just one, sold at auction in May of 2012 for $47,251. Number 11 is a 1956 Topps Luis Saparicio rookie card, number 292, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, population of just two, sold at auction in October of 2017 for $53,380. Number 12 is a 1959 Topps Bob Gibson Rookie Card number 514 graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, population of just three, sold at auction in May of 2012 for $53,759. Number 9 is a 1955 Topps Harman Killebrew Rookie Card number 124 rated PSA 10 with gem mint condition population of just one sold at auction in May of 2012 for $59,135. Number 8 is a 1951 Bowman Willie Mays Rookie Card number 305 graded PSA 9 mint condition population of 8 with none graded higher sold at auction in October of 2009 for $65,725. Number 7 is a 1955 Topps Sandy Koufax Rookie Card numbered 123 graded PSA 9 mint condition population of 23 with 3 graded higher sold at auction in October of 2018 for $88,380. Number 6 is a 1954 Topps Al Kaline Rookie Card number 201 graded PSA 10 gem mint condition population of just one sold at auction in May of 2012 for $88,688. Population of just one. Number five is a 1954 Topps Ernie Banks rookie card, number 94, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, population of just two, sold at auction in May of 2012 for $142,836. Nice. Number four is a 1954 Topps Hank Aaron rookie card, number 128, rated PSA 10, gem mint condition, 
population of just two, sold at auction in May of 2012 for $357,594. Pop just two guys. Only two in existence in, in gem mint condition. Incredible. Number three is a 1955 Topps Roberto Clemente rookie card number 164 graded PSA 10 gem mint condition population of just one sold at auction in May of 2012 for $432,690. $432,690 back in 2012 population of just one. All right, guys, before we get into the number two and number one cards, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification button. That way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I want to thank all my current subscribers um, for all the support and uh, comments you guys have been giving, giving me and help my channel grow. So make sure to like this video, comment on it. Let me know which cards you think should be on this list. Did I miss any cards? Did I make any errors? That way, when I do an up updated video in the future, I can have everything corrected. All right. Now let's go ahead and jump into these last two cards and see which ones are the best. Number two is a 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle rookie card, number 253, graded PSA 9, mint condition, population of only nine, which is one graded higher, sold at auction in April of 2018 for $750,000. Now this is Mickey Mantle's only true rookie card is the 1951 bowman all right just to clear clarify i know a lot of people that aren't really familiar with the hobby don't think that this is his rookie card but it is it's his only true rookie card number one is a 1952 tops mickey mantle number 311 graded psa 9 mint condition population of six with three graded higher sold at auction in April of 2018 for $2,880,000. Now I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like that this card is on the list because it's not his true rookie card. However, a lot of guys in the hobby think that because it's his first tops card, that it's his first uh, tops rookie card. So, I mean, it's a debate. Uh, you can go either way. I feel like I couldn't leave this card off the list. I mean, it sold for almost three million dollars back in 2018 and it's honestly the 1952 tops mickey mantle card so how can i not put it on the highest selling most valuable baseball rookie cards from the 1950s this card is just it's a the mo one of the most iconic if not the most iconic baseball card of all time okay so there you have it 